Okay, welcome back for lesson three, year sevens. So, as usual, we're going to go straight to our online workbook. We're going to open that up and we're going to go down to page 11. For some of you who did the extension task last week, it might be page 12. But for most, slide 11. Today's class, we're going to be looking at researching some patterns for inspiration and learning how to annotate the patterns that we've chosen. So on the left, we can see the learning objectives, which is to use the web as a tool to research and collect patterns for inspiration and use art language to describe why we have chosen these images. Next, uh, the success criteria is to collect a range of different patterns and annotate these pattern images using art language to describe why we have chosen each image. So let's begin task one. We're going to scroll down one slide and here we have the task. So we can see the written instructions here. The first step, collect five images of patterns that catch your eye. We're going to use these websites to help us. So you can click on this and open this website or you can simply go to Google by going up to the top of your page here. If you can see my cursor, click in on the tab for a new tab and in the Google search bar, we're going to go back to our slides. It tells us to research this. Yayoi Kasama pattern. So in Google, this is what we're going to type. So here we have a range of her patterns. So we're going to click on any of these images here and this will take you to the Google images. Okay, so now for the next step. On the right hand side here, your image would have came up that you clicked on the Google home page. What we want to do, right click on this image, go down to copy image. We want to go up the top bar here, click on our online workbook and we want to scroll one more page down from the instructions and we want to paste the image we have chosen. We just want to make it nice and small so we can fit five of them on the same page. So back to my searching. So the next step is collecting the URL or web address of where we found this image. So this lets people know that we haven't stolen the image. We know where it's coming from. So if we're back on our Google search, just below our image here, we'll see this little logo with a globe on it. This tells us where it's come from. So let's click on that. It'll open up a new link. And all you need to do is in the web address up the top here, if you click once, right click or command C, we just want to copy this title. Then we want to go back to our Google Slides up the top here. What we want to do, we want to create a little text box. So I did that by going to this little T with the square around it. I created myself a text box. We want to choose the font size to be 6. We just want this to be really small. So in this, I'm going to hold control and right click. Then I'm going to paste. This will paste my web address. So now you have your image of pattern that you've researched. Then you have the web address underneath. We're going to complete this four more times so we have a total of five research images. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that to show you how your page should look.
So, here we go. Task 1 complete. Your page should be laid out like this with your five images and the web link underneath each one. Make sure that you're not collecting the same images I have. It's okay if you have one or two, but you want to be researching your own inspiration. Um, Yoyoi Kasuma will be your main point of interest for your inspiration. So good luck on task one and then watch the next video in your classroom stream for task two.